come over all the time where you have these meetings and there are like spreadsheets and lists of like they're always they, both of them would come over all the time and measure my art and I always thought like that was really a, like an existential nightmare to be like trapped in some guy's closet but you know it's 25 cm and uh, and so you know it, it didn't even seem like a real thing and I, I never thought about it like one day this will come out and I'll have to worry about it you know I just thought like well it's fun to have people in my house every you know every once in a while and uh, and you know and then all of a sudden it was like oh we have a publisher and it's like it's going to come out and I started to look at you know, I just let them look through all my stuff just like you know go through the drawers and you know and in my you know go through the medicine cabinet if you want you know and, Alvin, I'd always hear Alvin in like in my closet, you know, I'd be like pretending to work and I'd hear Alvin in there going like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I always think, oh my god, what did he find, you know? He's sweating. Yeah, yeah, it's like, it's like, oh yeah, I forgot I was in the clan for a few years or something, you know, it's like, you know, and, uh, and then I'd go in and it was always, you know, something I hadn't thought about in many, many years, for good reason, you know, it's trying to block all this stuff out of my mind, so it was, but, you know, Alvin is a very good friend, he's a person I really trust, and so it was, you know, he's, like, the only human being I would allow to, to have that kind of access, you know, he's, he's, uh, he's somebody who I knew would, uh, would not, you know, just try to steal stuff and sell it on eBay. <laughs> no, you're very generous, and I, I know you aren't, you're so distant from some of your older stuff, and like if the news went on, you just you were pretty great about letting all the stuff come out. So well, yes. Of that. Yeah. There was a lot of stuff I said that you knew that will not be seen in this book. <laughs> but that's all I really had to do with the book. I really, it was all his, his thing. It's, it's very interesting to talk to these two guys on stage because these guys know more about me than I do, <laughs> literally. Like I will, I will, uh, I'll think, I'll write a line of dialogue in a story or something, and I'll, and I will actually like email Ken, like, have I ever used this before? <laughs> you know, but yeah, that was in, you know, David Boring, page 46, <laughs> and then he used a version of it later in another show. You know, it's, it's, it's like I don't think about my old stuff at all. I just, like once I've done it, it's it's like out of my system, and it's it's very so it's you know talking to these guys is very strange. Um, for this book, I'm just going to go briefly through the what it's made of. Um, we got to work with a really great team. 